In this video, we'll start to assemble all of our miniature train components together uh, by adding just the components that are going to be fixed in place or the components that need rigid joints. Okay, so the first part to this is to make a new design. So go up to File, New Design, and then I'm going to go ahead and save it, and we're going to name this Assembly. Okay, once that's saved, we're going to start bringing parts in, and you can just click and drag a part to bring it into the assembly here. So I'm going to do that for the body, and then I'll just click OK. And then what we're going to do is go over here to your browser, and then right-click on body and go to ground, and that is going to fix the, the body in place. So that way that doesn't move as we're adding other components to it. Okay, so then the next things that we'll, we'll add to this, again, are the things that are not going to move once we attach them to the train. So that's going to be things like the stack, the cow catcher, and then if we flip to the back, there's also going to be a hitch magnet and a hitch peg there as well that, again, we're not going to have to worry about them moving at all. So uh, let's go ahead and add the stack first. So I'm going to scroll down here and then just click and drag the stack into this. And then I'm just going to use the arrows to roughly kind of position where it needs to be. So something like that, and then click OK. So what we'll do is we'll go up here to the joint tool and then uh, I'm going to click on the bottom of our uh, stack and then we want that to connect to the bottom part of the stack needs to connect to the bottom part of our train. So I'll click the, the edge here that is the bottom part of the hole. And you'll notice that that should fit it. Make sure that you click on the right parts and it's not sticking up or sticking out at all and then just click OK. And then again, you can just check to make sure you shouldn't be able to drag it or spin it or anything. And you should see this icon down here to indicate that that is a rigid connection. Uh, the next thing, let's add the cow catcher. OK, and I'm just going to again use the arrows to position it roughly where it needs to be. And one thing that might be helpful for this to make clicking a little bit easier is to flip this around uh, a little bit, kind of about a 90 degree angle. Um, that way you can easier, uh, better click on uh, these little pegs on the other side of the uh, cow catcher. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then what we're going to do is go to our joint tool again, and we're going to do this the exact same way. This time I'm going to click on, so on the peg, it's kind of hard to see because it's sort of dark colored, but I'm going to click on this part of the peg, so kind of the base of it where the cylinder starts for the peg. So I'm going to click on that. And then this is the, the top middle peg. So that's going to go in this hole. And then I'm just going to click on this part. So this is going to be the outer part of the hole right here. And you'll notice what mine did is it it's flipped. So this needs to flip around. So just click that. And then you'll also notice it put mine upside down. So I will need to click this to rotate it 180 degrees. So it is correct. All right, and then make sure under motion that it has rigid selected. Mine selected that automatically. Yours probably will too, but just make sure that it is a rigid connection and then click OK. Click home, and then again, just click and make sure that that is not going to move. Okay, next we will flip this around to the back to see the back hole because we're going to add in the magnet next. So I'm going to just click and drag the hitch magnet in. And one thing you'll notice with the hitch magnet, you get, it's kind of nice. It sort of imports in in the exact right spot. So we'll just go ahead and click OK on that. Uh, we do still need to add a joint, though, because if you notice, if you click on it, you're still able to kind of drag it away. But uh, go ahead and click Joint. And then I'm just going to click, again, same thing, like on the circle here where the hole of the hitch magnet is and then the outer part of the hole for the train. It doesn't matter what side you click on. Well, actually, okay, in this case it, it does because this because I clicked on the far side here. Uh, it basically put it into it, but all you have to do is just click flip and then it will uh, change the side there. So go ahead and click okay. And we're just gonna add one more part for this. So we're gonna add in the hitch peg. So click and drag for that. And then again, use the uh, arrows to move it. And again, I'm going to kind of rotate this just to make this step a little bit easier, maybe. Rotate it kind of at an angle. 
Okay, what I'm gonna click on for the joint tool here is I'm gonna click on, again, the start of the cylinder where the cylinder and the, uh, the head of the hitch magnet kind of connect. And then I will click this part of the magnet. Again, you'll notice it needs to be flipped. So I'll go ahead and click that and then click okay. Okay, with that, just do a last check to make sure those things aren't moving. And this part is complete. So in the next part, we will go ahead and start adding the wheels on and the other parts that need to be able to rotate.